I spent the evening photographing this cosy little lodge just north of the Brecon Beacons. I set my alarm for 5am to get ready for my photography trip the next morning. do too much of that. <laughs> We're a bit late you see. Good morning, welcome to Clinifan Fac. That was pretty good I think wasn't it? Uh, there's a few things I don't know for this video. First one is the way but I think it's probably pretty easy. Number two, I don't know like where the best light is here. I don't know whether the morning is the best or whether the sunset is the best. We'll just have to wait and see. It looks like the sun is coming up. Uh, where is it? Over there. The other side the beast over there so looks like uh, the shot I had in my head is probably a sunset shot but that doesn't matter because this is probably the most important thing is coming to a place for the first time and kind of scouting it out really and seeing what it is that you want pretty nice views up here so as you can see behind me just there the sun's starting to peak above the kind of ridge and it's just basically starting to come up so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the drone in the air and little fiddly bits like this these gloves are absolutely invaluable <laughs> Top. It got really, really windy back there, so I couldn't really film anything. And now I could be saying anything under here because you can't see my mouth, so I could dub anything in. Like, make sure you hit that like button. So, like I said, number one goal here was to scout to learn something, and also I got my new Shimoda pack <clears throat> through the post yesterday, so it was quite interesting to check this thing out and. Uh, you know, see how my gear fits in it and sort of see the location. I can absolutely see that this is a great location for a sunset or maybe if there wasn't so much cloud in the sky, but I would have to wait quite a long time for that sun to come over and start to hit the front of the, uh, of the kind of mountain, if that's what it's called. And it's something to very much bear in mind when you see a photograph with perfect light, with perfect composition, perfect everything. For those beginner photographers out there, that's something to bear in mind. A photograph is not necessarily a culmination of that journey. It is a culmination of every visit to every location and understanding all the conditions and all of the kind of the way that the landscape works, probably more so than the way that the camera works. So I come back to the sort of start of it all. The first part as you come up from down there up to here and I, I think I'm just going to take this shot from here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm using the 35 again wide open I'm shooting some grass just down in front of me. I just want to create a little bit of texture over the lake. There's no light and this sort of viewpoint has been seen by hundreds of thousands of people probably exists on hundreds of thousands of mobile phones. So I just kind of want to bring something slightly different to the scene and when there's no light and when there's sort of you know, no real inspiration coming from me. I like to add little interesting things like this, just do some abstract. So next thing I'm gonna do, 
having spotted the gradient in the water, I bet you that, you know, it looks pretty perfectly still down there. So I bet it's a pretty nice reflection. Uh, let's go down and take a look and see if we can grab that. Compositions behind me, I've got camera and a rock and a rock leading up to the uh, sort of mountains there. Now, the water isn't perfectly like a perfect mirror, but it's pretty good. But I'm gonna do a long exposure, it's long -ish, like a second, just to see what that will do. I can't fit any um, filters over the front of my 14 mil, so what I'm actually gonna do is just push the exposure a little bit and see what I can get out of it. <laughs> say this uh, Action X50 is an absolute beast. If anybody wants uh, the, uh, to know more about that, I'll leave a link in the description to the Shimoda bags. I've got a whole bunch and they're incredible. So as I said at the beginning of the video, the goal for today was two, two goals really. One was to get to know this area, to understand it, to understand how the light falls on it, and also to get to know this guy. So I came away a little disheartened that I didn't get the exact shots and conditions that I was hoping for. But the lesson here is that I did come away with knowledge of the area, the parking, the different routes that you can walk up, and testing the larger version of my main camera bag. And with all that in mind, I kind of feel like the trip was a success because now I can plan for next time. I am knackered from that for some reason, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, and if you are one of my subscribers, I will see you in the next video.